Let's start with downloading wallet. As you can see there are different types of wallet available. First being Vertcoin Core Wallet. I suggest using Vertcoin Core Wallet because it serves you as a node with full copy of blockchain in the Vertcoin network. Thus making the network more secure since there are a large number of nodes verifying the blockchain hence, making attacks difficult on the network. Second type of wallet is Electrum VTC Wallet, Koinomi for Android and Ledger. These use a centralized server to serve as a node using which they synchronize the transactions of the wallet, instead of downloading and synchronizing the blockchain on the device itself. They don't store any key or wallet data on the server just used for synchronizing transactions. I won't suggest this to use because many of the Vertcoin pools are P2P pools p to pools pay directly to the wallet and need to mature before they are usable. Since they output lots of small payments they put extra strain on the centralized servers used by Electrum, Ledger and Konomi. Thus often making them lag since the server is busy syncing the transaction to its users. The network is fine itself, but the server which these wallets use may get slow. The last being Paper Wallet. Here you move your mouse cursor over the screen for randomness. The software then uses it to generate your keys. If you use them, make sure you download the entire thing from the Jitter link on the bottom of the page and then move it to a PC not connected to internet then generate your wallet. Remember to back it up since you can't recover keys if you don't back them up. Once you download that coin wallet, or any other wallet, get the wallet address to which you want to receive funds. I am going to use V addresses or legacy since there are many pools which only support legacy addresses. For that coin wallet download a Ubuntu or Debian version from vetcoin.com. After download extract the wallet file and copy it to a location of your choice. Open a terminal in the directory of the wallet binary. Type dot forward slash vetcoin dash qt and press enter. This will start the wallet. Choose Choose where you want to save the wallet file. Once wallet sucks press Ctrl Shift and D together to open debug window. In debug window then click on console tab. Once at console tab type the command get the address space address underscore type space legacy. This will generate a legacy wallet address for you. Copy it and let the node sync in background it won't affect you. First we are going to install the drivers for Linux. There are two available drivers for Linux, AMD GPU Pro and ROCM. I am not using the latter one since it does not support my graphics card. I am installing AMD GPU Pro 18.20 on Ubuntu 16.0 for LTS once downloaded extract the files to a folder. Open a terminal in the folder. And type command dot forward slash md gpu dash install dash dash headless dash dash open cl dash legacy coma pal. This will start the installation process and will install all the desired components of open cl which are needed to compile the miner and run it. Download the source code files of the miner by clicking on clone or download button and downloading zip. Download premake 5 for Linux. Once downloaded extract source code and premake 5. Copy premake 5 to the directory containing premake 5.lu, in this case it's the folder containing the source code. Open terminal in the current directory and type command dot forward slash premake 5 gmake. This will create a build folder. Change directory to build folder and enter command make. It will show a warning, ignore that it won't affect the miner. If everything is okay till now, 
no error will be shown and a bin folder will be created in the previous directory. This folder will contain the binary to run the miner. Now copy the kernel folder to bin folder, this is required by the miner, and it won't run without it as you can see in the video. Go to directory containing the binary file, in this case the miner is in the bin folder. Open terminal in bin folder and type command dot forward slash lycler dash glycler dot conf to create a config file. Once the config file is created, open it in any text editor. In Ubuntu, you can use gdit for GUI or VIM in Quira and add the pool details under pool connection setup. Once config file is update, type dot forward slash lycler to start mining. As you can see without kernel folder it won't find the files necessary to start mining, thus remember to copy the folder after compiling the code. Copy the binary, kernel folder and optional configuration file to any other directory of your choice if required.